Reminding himself what it is to be a little Yudale. If you ask a little Yudale, what do you live in? You know, you ask the world, the more sad that people who eat bread for bread, you know what it means. If you stop a little person on the street, you'll ask him, Why do you eat? He'll say, In order to have strength. You ask him, Why do you need strength in order to work? Why do you need to work to make money? Why do you make money in order to buy bread? Why do you need bread in order to have strength? Why do you need strength in order to work to make money? Why do you need money to make bread? It's bread for bread, nothing else. Which is most of the world, I hate to tell you the truth. I hope none of you, God forbid, that'll be the end of the show here. If you have bread people coming in, give out. <laughs> but if you ask a little Yidale, if you ask a little Yidale, what are you eating for? And he'll tell you to have strength. To have strength, to serve God, to be a little Yidale, to make the world better. <clears throat> but this is just a low little Yidale, and then there's a higher kind of Yidale. He doesn't even live from bread and water, he just eats it because the baker has to make money. Oh, yeah, it's a little eater! Oh, what are you living from? And this is what he will say. Ki heim chayenu, v'yoyde, as you may not tell him, live from learning, from praying, from being a Jew, my very life depends on it. And now before I sing the song, this rabbi was so sweet to tell a story of what I he heard from me. You gotta tell him another good story, maybe from the video we tell it. But this is an old story, I'm sure he doesn't need me to tell him. But regardless, I'll tell it to you. Maybe some of you know, some of you know. Today, you know, everybody who has nothing to do writes a book, you know. But especially if you have nothing to say, that's the best way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have something to say, well, write a book, say it, you know. Anyway, but you know that Elijah the prophet wrote a little book, it's called Kana de Bele Yahu. There are beautiful stories in there, and this is one of the stories. Elijah the prophet, Elijah the prophet, walks the streets of the world. Elijah the prophet, maybe you met him on a lonely night. Walks the streets of the world. So one night he met a little fisherman on the beach. And Elijah the prophet asked little fisherman, Have you studied the Torah? Have you studied the five books of Moses? Have you studied the Talmud? Have you studied all the mysteries of the world? And the little fisherman's eyes began to shiver with tears. And he says, Holy Prophet, believe me, I've tried so hard. I have tried so hard. But the Almighty has not blessed me with a mind to fathom his holy teaching. And Elijah the prophet asked him again, Tell me, little fisherman, are you a good fisherman? And the fisherman's eyes began to glow with pride. And he said, Holy Prophet, believe me, I am the best fisherman on this entire coast. And Elijah's prophet began to cry. And this is what he said. Do you know, little fisherman, why well, you are the best fisherman in the world? Because you know that your life depends on fishing. If you only knew, if you only knew. 
that your life depends on learning. He could have been the greatest scholar in the Thank you. 